In this video, I am going to discuss the efficient solution to find the minimum swap required to sort an array. We have an unordered array consisting of consecutive distinct integers, that is 1, 2, 3, up to n, where n is the size of an array. We are allowed to swap any two elements. We need to find the minimum number of swaps required to sort an array in ascending order. Let an array A is 1, 4, 3, 2 and the position of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4. Most people when they look at the solution, they try to solve this problem by some sort of brute force method. We are basically finding the smallest element in the array and exchange it with the element in the first position. Then find the second smallest element in the array and exchange it with the element in the second position. Continue this process until done. As you can see, the method is very simple, but it is not going to find the minimum swap required to sort an array. There is an efficient solution. I am going to explain the interesting idea behind it first and then we are going to look into the actual algorithm. The idea is very simple. We are going to look at each index and compare the index position with its value. If it is same, then move to the next index position. If index position is not the same as element value, then treat element value as index value for finding the next element. If we came back to the visited element then there exists a cycle. Then count the size of that cycle. The number of swap for the particular cycle would be size minus 1. Do this for all the cycles and add them together. Example Let an array A is 1, 4, 3, 2 and the position of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4 and no element is visited yet so mark it as false. We are going to use hash map for storing the given array element as value and index position as key. An array for storing the element visit status. Initially, swap count is 0. Let's begin with the first position, which is 1. Mark this element as visited. Now, compare the element position with the element value. As we can see, the element value is same as its element position, so these elements don't need to be swapped. Therefore, we move to the next position, which is 2. Mark this element as visited. Now compare the element position 2 with its element value that is 4. These are not the same so treat element value 4 as position value for finding the next element. As element position 4 is not visited yet so at this point increase the swap count by 1. Mark this element as visited. Now compare the element position 4 with its element value that is 2. As the element value is not the same so treat element value 2 as position value for finding the next element. As we can see the element position 2 is already visited so move to the next unvisited element in a sequence which is element position 3. Mark this element as visited. Now compare the element position 3 with its element value that is 3. As the element value is same as its element position so these elements don't need to be swapped. Therefore we move to the next position which is 4. But this element was already visited so skip this element and find the next unvisited element. As there is no more unvisited element left. So at the end we print the swap count. 
So the minimum swap required to sort this array is 1. Before going to the actual implementation, we can also implement this solution in terms of cycles. In this case, there is a cycle between element value 4 and 2. And the size of this cycle is 2, that is from 4 to 2 and from 2 to 4. Therefore, the minimum swap required to sort this array would be 2 minus 1, that is 1. So by both methods, we will get the same result. Let's look at the implementation of this algorithm. We can solve this solution just by using array data structure only. But for simplicity, we are going to use hash map data structure so that it would be easier for tracking the element positions. This is a given array for which we are going to find the minimum swaps. This is visited boolean array used for tracking element visit. The default value for boolean is false. So initially no element are visited. This hash map data structure is used for storing elements value and its position for a given array. This for loop is used for initializing hash map. Initially swap count is 0. This for loop is used for iterating each elements. Inside this we will check element is visited or not. If element is not visited then mark is visited true. and then compare the element position with the element value. If it is same then immediately jump to the next iteration. Here we use continue keyword for this. Else treat element value as position value for finding the next element. This while loop is used for performing the cycle logic inside that increase the swap count by 1 until we come back to the visited element. I hope you understand the logic behind the algorithm. Thank you for watching.